atmosphere was the same as if it was an All-Ireland final day in Croke Park. The last time Longford won the Bourne Cup, they went on to win National League and Leinster Championship within three years after that, so we're not making any predictions, but you never know how, how it might work out this year. Almost 9,500 people were attracted to Cusick Park today for a cup that commemorates the late Matt O'Byrne from Bolton Glass and Wicklow, a cup first played for in 1954. But who'd be the first county to win it in the 21st century? Westmeath or Longford? Nipping in is Thomas Muller giving it to Paul Barden. There's a chance here of a goal, and it's superbly taken. Niall Sheridan, the scorer. Brilliant interplay by Longford. Capitalising on a poor defensive display so far by Westmead, who are facing a very strong gust in this first half. But the finish by Sheridan was first class. Good defending by Martin Malidi. Cahill Conifer. And there's a boot blown there after the driven by the referee. And this is silliness by the Longford man. He's pleading his innocence. Let's see what's going to happen here as the referee saw the action and a red card has been shown. The incident itself looked like this. The free had been given to Longford, and for some strange reason, the Longford man drew a boot on the Westmead man. Ender Barden, the Longford captain, is sent off. Martin Malid giving it long. Oreg Davis. Well won by the Adlone man. Fergal Murray. John Cooney has gone back. And the referee says it's going to be a free to Westmead. And now, another incident off the ball, and the referee is going to have to be very strict here as John Cooney and Paul Barton got involved off the ball. And numerical parity could be restored and John Cooney has been sent off it's now four and there was a further entanglement with uh, Porrick Brady after the red card had been shown so it's me losing Derek Heaven and coming on as Desi Dolan here's Desi he's immediately and referee Brendan, or ma manager Brendan Lowry, is infuriated and in fact shouldered the Longford number two, Porrick Jones. And Brendan Lowry could be in trouble here with the referee. And could well see the rest of the match not along the sideline. And the referee is indicating that he wants Brendan Lowry in the dugout. The free quickly taken. This is Paul Bard cutting through the Westmead cover. Good points. His first of the match. Not a great ball, really. Works out all right because Joe Fallon gathers. Rory O'Connell was sneaking inside. Going forward to his right cornerback, Kenny McKinley. Great shot. Great point. The initiative swings back to Westmead. Well gathered by Ger Heaven. Pumping it very long. And accurately over the bar. His second point of the match. Oh, well won. By Liam Keenan. There's a chance here of a score for Longford. Very well taken. Very well taken. And Westmeath have at least a minute and a half left to save this game. Joe Fallon saved the ball. And Porrick Jones gratefully accepted. This is Trevor Smullen making an angle. Is this to ensure victory? It is. 
The ball is in the back of the net. Dermot Ryan lobbed in the last minute of the match with this shot that surely secured victory for Longford for the first time in the Auburn Cup tournament since 1965. So Longford become the first county to bring home the Auburn Cup this century. We don't want to stop it just here. Like, there's no point just going to it so, to it so high and then just going back downhill again. We have to try and improve all the time. We're still a very young team and we'll hopefully you know, we'll improve. And our aim is now just the first round of the championship. League, we'll take the league as it comes and the first round of the championship we're going to start aim for Pro Park. That's our aim this year. So. Well, our congratulations to Longford. Uh, the big occasion getting to a number of uh, players there in Mullingar this afternoon in front of what was a very large crowd considering the awful conditions this afternoon. Nearly 10,000 for the O'Byrne Cup final. Well done once again to...